Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you something that we did a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. I don't remember. It was a while back. Um, I believe it was a couple months ago. It was a merch drop for local church. Uh, this was super cool. I did not design the merch and I did not do the photo shoot, but I was there and I just want to show you guys the process because I just always think that it's super fun to see the behind the scenes of all this uh photo shots and video shoots and you know everything uh everything production it's super fun i'm super interested i want to see the behind the scenes and it's just fun you know i just want to show you guys the process so first of all my brother is the one who did this photo shoot came out amazing he has a very cool vibe very cool style that is very well defined for what he wants to produce for the audience you know for the for the merge and, and just the look uh you know like you always want to have that in mind you know who is the audience who is who I'm trying to reach, you know, what is the entire environment. Cause when you do some merch drops or when you do any product that you're gonna sell, you know, it's not just the product and then put it up for whoever, you know, you wanna like capture the people who you know are gonna buy it or basically just you wanna reach the people that you want to reach. So everything about this photo shoot goes around, you know, a specific vibe and environment, you know, that certain people are not gonna like, certain people are not gonna go for it. But you know, that's basically what we always have to do when we produce something that we're gonna sell. You wanna have that audience in mind, what colors, what Instagrams they follow, what music they listen to, you know, and you just wanna do that. It's called a niche. Uh, you always wanna find a niche. You can always be like super commercial and be very generic and be very open. And I believe that that's kind of hard. You know, some people would think, you know, just I wanna sell to everybody. But, you know, uh, if you find an audience, you find your niche, there's hundreds and thousands of people in that niche. You know, you're always gonna make your money or your audience or capture uh, a specific group of people. And it's not gonna be 10, 15 people, it's gonna be hundreds, you know? So in this photo shoot, you know, it's very street. It's definitely street photography. We went to downtown at night, we find locations. Uh, went out there with Jose, modeling, back, back modeling for the first time in a long time. Uh, it was super fun. Uh, we're using the Sony camera. And in this technique, uh, my brothers used it in the past and it's really effective. It's really cool. I, I love it. You know, it's like very dark and with the flash, you know, it captures this like very urban vibe. It has this very, vin not vintage. It just looks super cool, you know, instead of shooting during the day. And that's like I said, you know, like if you want to do a commercial photo shoot, you always want to find the best light. For this specific product and this specific audience, uh, we knew and my brother knew, you know, like this is the type of photography that I want to do. It's very, um, it captures a specific audience. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me take a picture of that. That that's that that's cool right there. Downtown with who? Terror Town and Terror Squad. Terror Squad. <laughs> and I'm Terror Pack. Pterodactyl. And I'm Terror Pterodactyl. <laughs> I 
I think that was, those were good. How you feel? Pretty good. Uh, uh, that's the answer. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> At the end of the night, we all gathered together and then we're stenciling. They were like stamping uh, coffee cups. They were stenciling the bags where they're going to sell the merch. And again, you know, this photo shoot ties in together directly with the type of um, clothing, with the type of materials with the photography, with the music, with the coffee, and with the stamp and the branding, you know, like it was a spray paint, uh, white bags and spray painted, uh, not even uh, enhanced stamped coffee cups. So that's super cool, you know, like just creating an environment for your branding. It's always, it has to be very intentional. And I think that here at Local, uh, the team was doing amazing, you know, like being very intentional uh, because they could have purchased bags or they could have done use any other material or done things differently, you know, but just this handmade stenciled feel with this nighttime street photography, I think it just is amazing. And it just basically captures the entire feel. Uh, it was a good time. We're having fun. We're just having uh, chips, takis, we're having uh, sodas, we're having just water, we're just, just chilling, you know, like, and I think that's the best part of production. You know, when you have a group of people that just have the vision, you enjoy it. We literally were hanging out here to like four in the morning until we finished. People were doing all kinds of different things. Some people were stamping, some people were stacking, some people were stenciling the bags, some people were like rolling the outfits and, and putting everything in the bags. And I did think it was like super fun to just be around this group of people. So I think that whenever you're coming up with a product and whenever you're doing something, just find that group of people who's willing to go up until four in the morning, five, six, and just work with you. You know, like this is all team of volunteers and they were just like having a good time. We're having fun. Uh, we're doing this. And let me show you the end product. They sold the merch and got sold out. Everybody loved it. Everyone requested more. And let me just show you the ending product of the photography and the photo shoots for the first local church merch drop. So guys, this is the vlog for today. Welcome to the Close Friends group. Uh, this is the new vlog that I've been trying to come up with. It's more of a lifestyle, you know, just showing you around behind the scenes, hanging out, uh, going to lunch, getting coffee, doing production anyway, you know, because I just believe that just showing uh, what you do in your life is just way more effective than trying to do a tutorial and trying to do like anything like super fancy. I just want to show you guys what we do. What we do revolves all around production. There's always a photo shoot. There's always a video shoot. There's always some music being recorded, some performance, a worship night. There's something happening uh, in our lives and it's super cool. You know, we revolve around all kinds of churches and people and it's just fun, you know, just showing the lifestyle behind the production team and and I just I just love it. This is why I call the new vlog close friends. So welcome to the close friends guys um, I'll try to be dropping videos. I don't have a specific date now because basically it's just you know um, We do a photo shoot or we do a hangout or we do something and I'm just gonna be throwing it out there Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay connected. Leave some comments follow the Instagram and I'll be around here more in close friends vlogs. I'll drop some tutorials I've been getting people asking me about some app tutorials and photos and reels because we've been doing that a lot on Instagram, especially since Instagram is changing, you know, moving more and more and more to video. Um, I'm excited, you know, I love to do reels. I love to do uh, just stuff like that, just for fun. I post all day. So I'll talk more about that in uh, the creative workshop. I'll talk more about posting and reels and, and all those tutorials but right here and close friends we're just gonna keep it chill we're gonna hang out together and i'll just show you guys the lifestyle behind the production teams and everything we do hope you guys enjoy it see you guys next time